In this video, we'll see how to broadcast transforms from a C++ node. To do this, we'll need to add dependencies to two new packages, tf 2 ross and tf 2 geometry messages. TF2 ROS provides the ROS enabled wrappers around the TF2 library for the core TF functionality. TF2 geometry messages provides tools to convert between TF2 library types and geometry messages types, and functions for applying transforms to types in geometry messages. There are a variety of packages like TF2 geometry messages that provide similar functionality for interopping between TF2 and other packages. Here's a node that broadcasts transforms into our TF system. To do that, it uses a transform broadcaster object. We initialize this broadcaster with a reference to the current node in the constructor. Whenever we have new transform data to broadcast, we build a transform stamped message representing the transform we want to add. And then we call send transform on the broadcaster with that new transform message object. The transform broadcaster handles setting up the connections to the TF topics and publishing the messages for us. Here, we've basically written our own static transform broadcaster that sends the same fixed transform at a constant rate. Normally, if we have a node that wants to broadcast transform data, we'd be building the transform dynamically from some other data source. Once we add our node to our CMakeList build file and build our workspace, we can demonstrate our new broadcaster node by running it and the TF2 echo tool at the same time. And we can see that our transform is available in the TF system. It gets printed out by the echo tool. That covers how to get data into the TF system from our C++ nodes. The next video will cover how to read TF data from C++.